On the 9th of February, SpaceX company performed the first test fire of its kind. Its goal was to fire up all 33 Raptor 2 engines on the Super Heavy B-7 rocket prototype. Everything began with loading propellant into the 70 meters tall rocket. While the lower methane tank was almost filled, the upper liquid oxygen tank was only partially loaded. Just immediately before the ignition, the fire X system was activated, spraying a water and nitrogen mixture under the engines to prevent unwanted explosions. It was very impressive, but the ignition of all 33 Raptors didn't happen. As Elon Musk announced shortly after the static fire, one engine was turned off by operators just before the ignition and second one stopped itself. Even so it's a historical record, a bigger number of rocket engines have never been burned simultaneously before. The previous record of 30 engines ignited on a single rocket was held by an unsuccessful Soviet moon rocket N1. This static fire thus surpassed it by one ignited engine. Even if SpaceX managed to ignite all 33 engines during the test, it would be far from the full power. The 31 Raptor engines generated 3,600 tons of thrust which is less than half of the power this rocket is capable of. So, it wasn't the most powerful static fire in the history of astronautics. But this test most definitely marks an important step to a first orbital flight of the whole Starship setup. That might theoretically happen as soon as in March. Elon Musk already confirmed that during this launch the super heavy rocket engines will generate 90% of the nominal thrust. We greatly appreciate your interest in our channel. Thanks to you, we reached today the 500 subscribers milestone. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in the spaceflight news, don't hesitate and join us too.